was extremely close, but he passed away when I was 12. Mm. He was 14, so he got shot. But, um, I don't know, we were just really, really, really close. And I always wonder, like, randomly, if he was still alive, like, oh, how we would be now. Like, how our relationship would be, if he would be over all the time, if we would be kicking it, if we would be in the same state, you know, those type of things. So, I would say probably um, the loss of my cousin, because that was the first, like, real tragedy that I ever experienced that, like, really changed and shifted shit for me in my life, you know. Um, so, yeah, that would be mine. What's he say? Is he a shot he at 14? Yeah, he, um, so what happened was he ended up finding a gun at my grandma's house. Him and his friend, they had got paid to paint the fence. And when they was over there, they was going through her stuff and they found the gun. But the gun was, it, it didn't never have no bullets. My grandma already always had the gun there and they never had bullets for it. It had sat there for years and nobody ever touched it. And they took it and they got bullets for it. And they thought they stuff was going to go, you know, try to shoot it or whatever they was going to do in the alley. And before they could do that, his friend, they was at the house, his friend was trying to load it. This is the story that we heard, so allegedly, obviously, because I wasn't mm -hmm. there, so I don't know. But they say he was trying to load it, or he was fucking with the gun in some type of fashion in the kitchen. My cousin was doing something, like making something to eat or something at the counter. And when, whatever he did, like he tried to like swing it, girl, the, the trigger went off. Mm -hmm. And the bullet hit the wall, ricocheted, and hit my cousin right in the head, mm -hmm. dropped to the floor. Mm -hmm.